Downward facing walk. And start to move around. Yeah, any kind of extra movement that feels good to you, you can take that on. Begin to get intentional with your hand and your foot placement. Side to side, you could sway side to side. All right, you all drop your hands to the floor. On your inhale, lift up halfway. Hold on your exhale. Rise all the way up to standing, extend the mountain pose. And then draw your hands together at the center. Let's start with one ohm as a community. Take your breath in. Uh, extended mountain pose, reach up. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, high to low plank. Press forward to upward facing dog. Go back to downward facing dog. Take five rounds of breath and down dog. Yeah, full breath in, full exhale out. Do that again, breath in, one breath out. Two more in, empty, and then last time fill up. Let it go. Walk or jump to your hands. Halfway lift, forward fold, rise all the way up. Inhale, fold on your exhale. Halfway lift, high to low plank. Press forward to up dog. Go back to downward facing dog. Take five rounds of breath and down dog. Yeah, and anytime you want to amplify, yeah, handstand jump, L stand, kick up. Feel free to take that on. Nice and easy. And you can also take your time, spread out all two fingers, perhaps your toes, get really rooted in foundational work too. Yes, Hannah. Take another inhale together. Empty here out, and then walk or jump forward. Halfway lift, forward fold, rise all the way up, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, high to low plank. Press forward to up dog. Go back, downward facing dog. Breathe in, and breathe out. Yeah, inhale together. Let it go. Do that two more times. In and out. Fill up. Empty. Jump forward. Halfway. Fold. Rise all the way up. In. Forward fold. Exhale. Halfway lift. High to low plank. Slow. Upward facing dog, go back, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Take three more rounds of breath. Yeah, and connecting out, so listening to the breath around you. Once more in, exhale, jump forward. Halfway, hold, rise up. Last one like this. Forward fold, halfway lift, high elbow plank, low grip. Then go to up dog, press back, downward facing dog. 
So same thing, you guys, you got five rounds of rep right here. Choose to take on a different variation or to stay in down on. And get intentional with your hand and foot placement in down dog. So some of you guys have a bit of a narrow stance in the feet. Go about hips width in the feet. And it gets your hands about shoulder distance or wider. So pretty long. Good, right? Well, you can go a bit longer if you want. Take up a lot of space. Okay, guys, one more breath in. Breathe out. Jump forward. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair. Nice. Stay here for the exhale. So I want you guys to hold for a few rounds of breath and chair. Yeah, sink a little bit deeper. You lift and spread off the toes. Nice, Ashley. Draw your shoulders straight back. So shoulders towards the back of the house. And then drop your hips another inch or two low. Get really active in the legs and the core. Take another breath in. Forward fold. Exhale. Halfway lift. High to low plank. Flow through. Press to up dog. Go to down dog. Warrior one on the right. Good, y'all. So take up space on warrior one at a deep lunge. That's it. And notice, too, that your back is going to be pretty key in this. I want you to press through the outside edge of your left side. Yeah, and then use that to go deeper in the front legs. You're going to work your front legs towards parallel. And build the breath. Take an inhale. Stay the exhale. One more breath in. High to low plank. Press to up dog. Go to down dog. Warrior one on the left. Yeah, same work. If you look at your back foot, turn it to like a 45 degree angle. So you like front corner of the room. Yeah, and then see if that allows you to square your hips a bit more. So pull back in your left hip. That's it. Nice. And then stay for another round of breath in and out. Biggest one, fill up. Low plank, come down. Press to up dog. Go back, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in, full exhale out. Yeah, again, breath in, breath out. Do that two more times. Once more, breath in, breath out, jump to your hands. Halfway lift, forward fold, chair. So let's go quicker. One breath in, fold on your exhale, halfway up. High to low plank. Press forward. Go back. Warrior one on the right. Yeah, inhale, rise. Low plank. Come right back down. Yes, you guys can move faster than that works. It can be a meter two behind. You want to move with your breath. Warrior one on the left side. Yeah, inhale as you come up. Exhale through chaturanga. Hit me back and downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Full exhale out. Then do that again. Breath in. And breath out. Two more times. In and out. Last time. Fill up. Let it go. Jump to your hands. Halfway. Hold. Chair. Take a breath in. Forward fold. Halfway lift. High to work. Go through. And guys, up on. Down dog. Warrior one on the right. Yeah, inhale as you reach up. Low push up. Come right back down. Nice, guys. And then take it on your own seat on the left. Warrior one. Yeah, reach up. And then float right on through. That's great. So if you need more time to take it, but you want to find something that challenges you, that pushes you a little bit out of the comfort zone, and then you've always got a few rounds of breath and down dog. Okay, take a breath in. Let it go. Do that one more time. Breathe in. Empty out. 
jump to your hands. Halfway, fold, chair, one breath in. Forward fold, halfway lift, high to low plank. Up dog, down dog, warrior one on the right. Low push out. Thank you guys, really good. Move in, one breath, one pose. Now modify your inner thighs, even warrior one on the left, step forward. And chaturanga, down. I see back and downward facing dog. Okay, deep breath in, full exhale out. Yeah, start to settle back into down dog. And ground through the bottoms of your feet. So, so much right here, you guys. If you bend your knees, you can lift your heels but also lift your ten toes. So it's just the ball mounts of your feet pressing into the mat. Okay, lift your right leg up towards the sky. Yeah, lift it high. Bend your right knee, rotate open. And then go to flip dog. Nice, yeah, so from flip dog, you got an option for full heel. If you feel like the full back end is available to you, take that on. Draw both shoulders in towards one another and look and reach towards the front of the house. That's it, you guys. Stay with it. Take one more breath in. Come back over. Side of the plank. So you're going to spin open towards 17. Good Yeah, any variation. Nice, right? You could lift your top foot. You could modify if you want to bring your elbow or your knee down. Stay with it. Take another breath in. High to low plank, flow through. Press to up dog. Go back into down dog. Okay, now lift your left foot up. So same thing, flip dog, other side. Take it over. Again, option for a wheel if that's somewhere that seems feasible to you. Nice, Anna. Draw your left shoulder in and draw your right shoulder in. Sit here and stay up for another breath in. And then come over side plank. So you're going to spin over this direction. Yeah, flex both feet. Doesn't matter which variation or modification you're in. And take your eyes up to your top hand. Stay for another breath in. Flow through, high to low plank. And press to up dog. Go back into downward facing dog. Right. Take a deep breath in together. Empty the air out. One more time. Breath in. Breath out. Crescent lunge. Step your right foot forward. That's it, you guys. Make sure that you've got enough width in between your feet. So the wider you go, the more stability you should have. Now take your hands together at heart center. Breathe in. Twist to the right. Direction of the mural over here. And then we're going to build the breath again. So take another inhale. Stay with it on the exhale. And if there are ways that you want to expand, you can go there. Split your arms, take a half of the lines. Uh, two more rounds of breath. Okay, one more. Breathe in. Twist. Now I'm going to worry your two. Extend the side angle. Good, y'all. And then turn on the breath again. Notice it's like the tension starts to build and the breath disappears. So keep the fluidity, keep the powerful inhale and exhale. And then use that to see where you want to go from here. You could take on a half or a full bind. If you've got the bind, then maybe there's a variation towards the paradise or bound path moon. Nice, Heidi. Draw your top shoulder towards the wall behind you. Stick with it, you guys. Take another breath in. High to low plank. Go ahead and flow through. Press to up dog. Go back into downward facing dog. Okay, crescent lunge on the left. 
other side. All right, take your hands together at heart center, breathe in, twist to the left. Well, and notice too, you guys, like if the balance starts to get kind of off, where could you create a stronger foundation? Lift your back heel and bring your heel forward where it's right on top of your five toes and then lift your hamstring up towards the ceiling. So really active in the back line. Great, stay with it, breathe in, twist. Once more in, twist deeper, warrior two. Take one breath in, extended side angle. Yeah, again, you guys choose powerful lines. Yeah, stay with it. There are other ways that you can amplify too. You can take your bottom hand off the floor or off your water bottle, whatever prop you're using. Nice guys. Think on, on this one, rotate your chest open towards this wall and then draw your shoulders straight back to 17th Avenue. So directly behind you all. Take one more inhale. High to low plank. Go ahead and flow through. Press to upward facing dog. Go back into downward facing dog. Great. Take a deep breath in. Full exhale out. One more time, breath in, breath out. Walk or jump forward. Halfway lift, hold, chair pose. Okay, now draw your hands together at heart center. Take one breath in, twist to the right. That's it. Take your left elbow, press into the outside of your right thigh, and then start to go somewhere from here. Yeah, you could split your arms. You could take on side pro. A lot of different options. Stay with it for two more rounds of breath. And then once more, breath in, breath out. Go right back into chair. Uh -huh. And now twist to the left. So set it up again. You've got five rounds of breath on this side. And notice it's the inhale that's going to give you access to more expansion. Yeah, we're twisting deeper. Wherever it is you want to go in the pose. Two more rounds of breath. Nice. One more. Forward fold. All right, y'all. Separate your feet. Take fingers to toes. Forward fold. Fingers to toes. Forward fold. Yeah, drop your head. Soften your knees. Palms to toes, forward fold. Slide your hands all the way under. Okay, slide your hands out. Crow pose. Crow pose. Take on the arm balance option. Let's see what's there for you. <laughs> nice. Could be an intentional variation to try upon that stand, or like sometimes it just happens that way. Yeah, that's a jacking thing like knees in, hug in the core. Hey, y'all. Okay, if you are in crow, try jumping back. And then just somehow find your way to down block. It doesn't have to be a graceful transition. Just take it on. All right, guys. Take a breath in through your nose.
Full exhale out through your mouth. Do that again. In. Let it go. Walk or jump to your hands. Lift up halfway. Fold. Slowly come all the way up. Go to eagle on the right side. Eagle pose. You're going to wrap your right arm under. Take your right leg on top. And then as you start to come into the pose, then see if you can bring focus to the pose first with your eyes. So set your eyes on one point. And then notice where the breath is. See if you can bring some intentionality to the breath. And just a couple more inhales and exhales. Once more in. And then out. Switch sides. So take eagle on the left. Left arm under, left leg over. And again, as soon as you guys have this set up, then see like what are ways that you can deepen the pose. A lot of times it's just as simple as bringing some of those foundational elements back into it. Your eyes. Just so much of like where your attention goes, like all your energy starts to go into that. One more breath in. Breath out. All right, inhale, scoop up. Standing leg raise on the right. Grab your right knee. Yeah, where your right foot, either one. Draw your knee or your foot out towards the right. So take it towards the lobby or towards the mural. And then extend your left arm in the opposite direction. Yeah, and then next, kind of like that last little piece, take your eyes in the same direction as your arm. And you guys go for props if you need it. Like use the column pad. That works. Get some extra support with it. All right, y'all. Well, on your next inhale, pull your right knee back to center. Stay there for the exhale. And now inhale the airplane. So draw your right foot to the back of your rail. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, any, you know, like whatever happens, happens. Like the joy of balancing is that like it's supposed to be a little bit messy. It's not going to be perfect every time. And there's so much work in building from the foundation over and over. See if you can lift your five toes, yeah, the standing foot, so that you get really down into the heel and the ball down to your foot. That's it, you guys. Stay with one more breath in. Now go to half moon. Half moon, take your left hand down to the floor. Yeah, and I realize you guys, so we don't have props in here tonight. If you typically use a block, what you might consider doing is bending your knee more than you usually do. Don't worry so much about going for like the biggest opening possible, right? Like start with something that works and then build on it. Stay up for another inhale. Fold on your exhale. Take a breath in and a breath out. Okay, inhale, rise back up to standing. Standing leg raise on the left. Grab your left knee. Or left leg, either one. Okay, so now drop to the side again. Extend your right arm in the opposite direction. And y'all flex your lifted foot too. So if you want to have both legs working pretty equally here, maybe like hug in towards the center line of your body. Draw your shoulders in towards one another. And take one more breath in, run out, and heel back to center. And then take it into airplane. Take your left foot to the back of the house. Reach your fingertips straight back. Yeah. Nice, Jennifer. Turn your palms where they face down towards the floor. Yes. And then from there, notice can you draw in even more with your shoulders so that you get this full body activation. One more breath in, half moon, drop your right hand down. It's all good. I know the water bottle is really like, it's a good prop and it only goes so far. So you gotta play with the imbalance of it. Nice guys. Think on, on your lifted foot, flex your lifted foot, 
And then from there, see if you can draw that leg like you're trying to stamp your foot into the back wall. So really strong in the lifting leg. You've got one more breath in. Fold on your exhale, come down. Halfway lift. Fold. Okay, reach all the way up to standing. Good, y'all. Come into dancer's pose on the right. So take your right hand to your right ankle. And as soon as you've got that set up, reach forward and then kick your foot, the sole of your foot, up towards the seat. And now bring the breath back into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go, reach. Like nothing wrong like with going to a point that you fall out where you find like a new edge that you can come back to. All right, let's switch it up, go to the other side. All right, one into it. And you notice when you know, like the focus or the intensity of it starts to overpower the breath which a lot of times creates the ease physically, never like softening. Okay, come back up. Go to dance room once more on the right. So we'll do it once more on each side. Good, y'all. Dancer on the left, last time. All right, come on back up to standing. Tree, tree. So last standing balance. You know, there are actually two options here. You could do tree, or if you want to take on standing figure four, take your right ankle up and above your left knee. So you'll start in that position, and then instead of lifting up, you'll start to sit back. So choose either one. There is an arm balance available to you if you choose the standing figure four. Yeah, again, just variations, options. Good, y'all. Yeah, and then tree, take your arms up, take your eyes up. Your standing figure four starts to come back or lower towards the floor. All right, guys, switch sides. Come back. Mm -hmm. Pick up your left foot. Same thing. Good, so go to whatever expression is there. That could be arms up or hands interlaced. And then if you still feel like you're pretty stable wherever you are, add on like a new level of challenge. Try closing your eyes. Or maybe just like one eye, right? Like it's not gonna be forever. Like your left foot will just come down if it needs to. Mm -hmm. Nice, good Eric. All right, bring your left foot to the floor. Okay, and then let's move again. Take a breath in, inhale up to extended mountain pose. Fold on your exhale. Halfway lift, jump or step back. Go ahead and flow through. Press to upward facing dog. Go to downward facing dog. Triangle on the right, step your right foot forward. And again, you guys, I know that this is one where kind of the, the default modification is to have your hand on a block. So a couple things you could take on the knife. One, go longer in your stance. So the longer you go with your two feet, the easier it should be to get your right hand down. You could also use your water bottle if it's, you know, somewhat stable. Yeah, and then like alternatively, instead of having the third point of contact with your right hand, draw your right shoulder in and then draw your left shoulder in. So think like everything is gonna hug in to still give you the same level of expansion. Stay here for another breath in and a breath out. Okay, keep your feet where they are. Come up to standing. Pivot 
out towards 17, towards these in a row, and take a wide leg forward fold. Side facing wide leg forward fold. Yeah, if you want to take on tri contest stand or any other kind of variation, you can bring it in. Nice head standers. Okay, so those of you that are upside down, there's no rush. Slowly bring your feet back to the floor. And then bring your hands to your hips. On your inhale, come up to standing. Pyramid. So facing the front of the house again. Set your right foot forward to 12 o'clock. Yeah, now on your breath and get lengthen your upper body. Fold over your front foot. Yeah, you guys know this. Eric, what if you went wider? Take your left foot out. Yeah, and a few of you guys, you can experiment with this. So if it feels like you're on a tightrope, walk your right foot out or walk your left foot out wider, and then shorten the stance. Yeah, that's it, Abigail. Yeah. Okay. Put a little bit in your front knee if you need to. And then from there, draw your right foot towards the back of the mat. So get really active in your right hamstring. We'll take another breath in. Let it go. Twisting triangle. Twisting triangle. Ground your left hand. Reach your right arm open. And keep all the same action through your lower body. Draw your right hip to the back of your mat or to the back of the house. And press your heels into the floor. So it's really active through your feet all the way up to your hips first. Take another breath in. Breath out. Once more, y'all. Breathe in. High to low plank, step back, flow through. And press to up dog. Go back to downward facing dog. Triangle on the left. Yeah, same work. Be kind of curious as far as how long you could go between your left foot and your right foot. So this one would be a, at a narrower stance, like you're, you are on tightrope or something. Yeah, and then from there, start to draw your shoulders in and use that to open up even more. Yeah. If you turn your palm in this direction, it will give you access to the shoulder. All right, one more breath in. Stay the exhale. Come on up to standing. Pivot in this direction now. So left foot in. And now take another wide leg fold. And you guys, if you want to bring in an arm variation here, you're welcome to do that. You can grab through your towel, you can interlace your hands. Is Jackie swapping your elbows? Um, so that gives you yeah, even more of a bicep and tricep stretch. Take your hands to your hips. Slowly come back up to standing. Pyramid on the left. Perfect, big catch. Walk your right foot out. Big one, pull over your front foot. And same thing, keep drawing back through your hips and your heels. Now build the breath here. Take an inhale. Stay the exhale. Do that a couple more times in and out. Once more, full inhale. Stay the exhale. Twisting triangle. Reach your left arm open. Keep drawing back through your lower body. So it's almost like you guys, your entire lower body is going to press towards the back of the house, and then your entire upper body is lengthening towards the front of that house. Yeah, really that opposing force right there. Stay with it. Breathe in. Twist deeper. Last time, breathe in. High to low plank, flow through. Then go to up dog. Press 
back, downward facing dog. All right, y'all, full breath in. Empty out. One more time in. Let it go. Come forward to high plank. Lower all the way to the floor. Okay, let's pick it up with back bending. So moving into locust pose. Take your hands down by your hips. And then on your inhale, I want you to lift everything up. Lift your feet, lift your legs. Draw your shoulders in towards one another. Let's say, y'all. Yeah, present like there's um, maybe like a block right in between your ankles. So you still want your legs separate, but squeezing up and in. Now lifting even higher. Okay, come down. Take a breath in to reset. Empty out. And then go back up. Locus number two. Lift up. And then keep the breath. Keep the breath fluid here. So inhale to lift. Stay on the exhale. One more time. Breath in. Come down. Floor bow. Bend your knees. And then lift up. Take it up. Yeah, floor row. You're up for about three rounds of breath here. Send the tops of your thighs down towards the floor. Yeah, draw everything in towards the center. Stay up. One more breath in. Come down. Okay, and then you're going to do floor row a second time. So if you have one foot, switch legs. Set it up. And then on your inhale, lift up. Lift up. Flex your feet. Yeah, so think like alignment. Draw your shoulders in towards one another. Send the tops of your feet down towards the floor and the soles of your feet up to the ceiling. Okay, y'all, one more. Let it go, come down. Okay, upward facing dog, press forward. Let's just keep flowing right on through. We're about ready to slow it down. Go to downward facing dog. Take your knees to the floor for camel. Take your knees to the floor for camel. Okay. So you can even, um, with camel, you guys will feel a lot of different variations on this. You can take your hands to your low back. If you want to take your hands all the way back to your heels, that would be a way to deepen the pose. Yeah, go ahead and take it on. Stand on your knees. Begin to lift your chest up to the ceiling and then start to drop your head back. Get choked up. Just stay right there. <laughs> yeah, and if it actually, like, if it causes like a sense of dizziness or like the breath starts to disappear, know that you could keep your chin tucked, and you don't necessarily have to go way far back at all. Yeah. Okay. Slowly come up and come onto your back. Bridge pose. Bridge pose. Yeah, go right into it. Bridge. I have a teacher, Darren, joked last week when we were at the yoga conference, and they was like, this is, you say bridge, and your students think it's take a break pose. Like, every time, everybody just kind of lays on their back. So, now let's go right into it. Actually a pose. Lift up. Yeah, and use the power of your feet and your legs here, you guys. That's going to give you the opening again through your upper body. Go ahead and lower down. Wheel. Wheel. We're going to do six of these tonight, you guys. We're going to knock them out. Not really long holds. But go ahead and lift up. If you need bridge, that's always an option. Nice tray. Yeah, draw your shoulders in. Press down to lift higher. That's it, Aaron. Really great. Come down. Take a breath in. And a breath out. And then go back up. Go right back up. Wheel number two. Lift up. Yeah, bring the strength of your arms and your legs, full body right here. Tuck your chin and come down. All right, wheel number three, halfway point right here. Lift up, press up. Yeah, we can also be modified if it needs to. Tuck your chin and come down. All right, Sandra, you stand up. Okay, let's join her. Wheel number four, press down. Go right back up, wheel number four. Good, come down. All right, guys, two left. 
Two left. Hannah's up and waiting for you. Let's go. Number five. Number five. Press up. Yeah, you've got this, you guys. Last opportunity for back bending tonight. Yeah, take it on this pile. Come down. And then last one right here, you guys. Yeah, give yourself a little motivation. It'll make you actually touch each other. High five, right? But yeah, whatever it is, pick your neighbor up, lift up. Nice, Heidi. Where is that? Get it. That's it, you guys. You're up for three, for two, and then come down. Nice work, you guys. Take Supta Bada Kanasana. Supta Bada. Soles of your feet together. Let your knees go out wide. Yes, you want to bring your low back to a neutral shape. Happy baby, grab the outside edges of your feet. You can gently rock side to side. Okay, take your feet straight up towards the ceiling. Yeah, feet straight up. Okay, on your, well, let's do this. Take your hands behind your head. So we'll get up, we'll get set up for scissor legs. Drop your right leg about halfway down. So I think 45 degrees. Nice, and then from there, I want you to pulse up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, switch your legs. And you've got another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take both legs up. Take your hands down by your hips or under your low back for 60, 30 lifts. Drop your legs a third of the way down. Drop another third. Hover your heels right off the floor. So just barely touching the mat. Yeah, you're there for three, two, lift all the way up. Okay, let's do it again. This time, press your heels together, toes out wide, come down a third of the way, come down another third, hover. Yeah, barely off the ground. Hold there for three, two, one, come up. Nice, once more. Yeah, you can go toes in, heels out, a third of the way down. Another third. Tap your heels to the floor. Lift up just an inch. Hover there. Three, two, one. Take it all the way back up. Yeah, and then now bicycle. So I want you to knock out. Let's do 30 of these tonight. So you're going to start to extend one leg forward. Twist the opposite elbow. Yeah, just basic bicycle or abdominal twist. Back and forth. Good. And then you've got another 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Come into boat. Come into boat. Yes, this is it. This is it. I know. You guys are really confused. What the boat is. Come into boat. Yeah. Put your chest to the front of the house. Draw your shoulders in. Breathe. You've got this. You're here. And then let it go. Good work, you guys. Take half pigeon. Half pigeon on the right. We're gonna slow it down. Finally. You know, and if you want to lay on your back and do a recline half pigeon or a figure four, perfectly fine. Take that on.
And see if you can keep the breath fluid. Okay, so now you've got more space, you've got more time. And can you still keep your intention and your focus on really like anything that brought you to the mat tonight? Right, like that space to even give yourself like something to focus on intentionally for 60 minutes. You know, even if it's as simple as your own breath or your own well-being. Okay, go ahead and switch sides. Five more deep breaths and half pigeon. And then walk your hands in, come into double pigeon. So you're gonna pull your right leg or your right shin on top of your left shin. If you need to, the bottom leg can extend out. Like if that's really tight and try and get both shins right on top of one another, feel free to take a modified variation. And then if you need more, pinch forward. Yeah, the work here can be even just in grounding your hips evenly. Lengthen out. Switch legs, go to the other side. So now, yeah, left shin on top. Same thing to deepen, press down through your hips and then extend forward in your upper body.
ball. Slowly come back up. Let's move into a seated single leg extension. Extend your right leg long. Pull your left heel into your inner thigh and then fold over your right leg. And then switch legs, extend your opposite leg out. And then come into a reverse tabletop. Take your hands behind you, plant your feet on the floor, lift your chest up towards the ceiling. Reverse plank is another great option here if you want to straighten your legs. All right, guys. And then lower back down. Take an inversion of your choice. So that could look like headstand, it could look like shoulder stand. You can also move to the wall and do legs up the wall, or just right here on your mat, take a waterfall. Keep your hips flat on the floor and take your feet up towards the ceiling. Yeah, so go for, um, you know, like as restorative as you need tonight, or if you're looking for more intensity, take that on. If you're in shoulder stand, take your feet to the back of your mat for plow. And then from plow, you could take deaf man's pose, pull your knees into your ears or even to your forehead. And from there, you can slowly begin to unwind. For you guys that are in legs up the wall, if you want to stay there longer, you're welcome to do that or even take that as Shavasana. Yeah. So um, slowly lower to the mat and then pull your right knee into your chest. Extend your left leg long and take a supine twist. Twist across towards 17. Bring your right shoulder down to the mat to help create some grounding. Things we'll figure out before tomorrow how to turn off your cell phone notifications on your laptop. Go ahead and switch sides. Pull your left knee in. Twist across, opposite direction. Guys, come back to center. Bring both knees into your chest. Give yourself a really big hug. Wrapping up your practice. You could gently rock side to side. Yeah, any last little bit of movement that feels good. And then on your exhale, find Shavasana. Final rest. Send your arms out. Send your legs out. 
any kind of comfortable rest and shake here. And um, really like start to take in, start to soak in. You guys that are here in the studio and then you guys that are joining us uh, digitally tonight, like truly like these last few minutes, you know, I find that like, and probably over the course of the next week or two, like there are all these different opportunities for stillness. Yet that's not really like how our brain works. The tendency is to get anxious and to go somewhere else. So for these next couple minutes, can you bring your attention physically to your body and then notice your breath? You bring the attention on the inhale and the exhale. All right, guys, start to deepen your breath. You could bring in some simple movement to your hands and your feet. Let your head fall side to side. And then as you're ready to move up from Shavasana, bring your knees into your chest. You could either gently roll to one side, or if it feels easier to rock back up into a seated pose, go that route. And then we'll meet in a seated position at the front of your mat. All right, and then let's close in the same way that we began. We'll take one arm as a community. Take a deep breath in. Uh, and then bring your thumbs to forehead center. The light in me sees the light of each of you. And together we say, Namaste. Good work, you guys. Do something else. Oh, and uh, thanks for joining us, crew. I have you all muted at the moment, but maybe I should unmute you all. Oh no, how do I do that? Well, let's see. I don't know. Things we'll have to figure out. Hello, people. <laughs> Hi, Savannah. Uh, we'll just leave them on mute. <laughs> thanks for joining, guys. I'll uh, I'll get feedback from you all later. That'll be fun. Yay! Kristen and Savannah and Leah and Megan and Donna and Katie. Amazing. All right. Um, so, beginning tomorrow, we are going to be using Zoom to get you all free yoga classes. Um, we will post at least one a day. I say post. We will do one that is streaming live. And we're going to send that schedule out tonight. And then every day we will remind you via Instagram and Facebook as to what time that is. Tomorrow is at noon. And Thursday is 4.30, Friday is 
Friday is 9 a.m., Saturday is 9 a.m., Sunday is 10.30, and we may even do a restorative one later that night. We're trying to just test out all the different times with it. Monday will be 6 p.m., and then Tuesday, I think we're doing 7.30 a.m. If you miss the live version of the class, we will then be putting it on YouTube after, so you could go and tune in, and eventually you guys will have a library full of the other classes that you can do any day, any time. So, um, keep in touch with us. Obviously, this was not really in the game plan of what we had wanted to do, but we're hopeful that if we are gone for a little bit, we will be back that much sooner. So hopefully, in a week or two, we'll be back in action. And um, yeah, keep up with us. Yoga is still going to be there, and we want you guys to connect with one another and um, yeah, get to your mat to help you through this crazy world that we're living in right now. Mm -hmm. I know, right. Be safe. Yeah, stay well, all the things. And thank you guys. Thank you for choosing to show up and support. Really, it means a lot to us that we can do this. So. You're welcome. It's great work, you guys. Bye, gang. Talk to you soon. Bye. Digital crew.